Hello, everybody. Prince Bear here. We're back on the boardwalk. It's time to return to Trattoria. We haven't been here. We've been here for breakfast a year ago and dinner even longer than that. We went to Trattoria, the the one at Portofino recently. So we need to come back to this one. Let's go eat. Be sure to manja manja and subscribe. Here they go. I picked a wine from the select section to enjoy. Cheers. Oh yeah, it's like bright, not too heavy, it's like a light red. I really enjoy that, that'll pair nicely with my meal. I'll give it a four out of five wines. So here we have the first part of the Princess of Sissori quarantine. If you're gonna order one, we would never suggest that you don't. Wine is great. We love adult grape juice. Quarantinis, if they have them, are the way to go. Best bang for your buck. If they have two separate glasses of wine, we spend in far too much money here. Quarantini is more than enough for most people. We aren't most people, but we do a lot of these videos, so don't judge us. It smells good. Dry, sweeter than I expected, but not like overly so. Very fruit forward. Looks like a jam. I feel like it is my jam. Like four out of five bucks. That's a solid one. We need to expand our wine selection. So instead of spending like ten to twelve dollars a bottle, maybe it's eleven to thirteen. Montebello. Cheers. Lemony, but not too lemony, so I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna give it like a three out of five lemon chumos. It's better than what you can get at the Italy Pavilion. That's Montebello because I basically look, I'm gonna just have an Italian margarita because tequila, limoncello, close enough, but taller. I like taller. Ooh. It's almost like lemonade with tequila in it. And I'm not mad about that. Four and a half out of five plus. This is definitely my jam. This is your standard table bread. It's like a nice little house-made ciabatta. And they give you this tomato with the olive oil to go with. And it's like um, what you get at California Grill, but a little bit different. Cheers. Roast and garlic in. We'll ward off any vampire. But delicious. Not as good as a stinking rose, but not many things are. Four out of five breads. It gives good bread. You can tell the princess is going to find a plant-based roll as it is always better. No shared vegan gluten-free on there. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of this roast garlic and the olive oil. I'm just going to spread it. Spread it. It reminds me of like a deconstructed version of what we got at Yachtsman. Hey, garlic has a kit. Like... I'm gonna feel like Godzilla afterwards, sort of kick. I always say, this is an excellent place for like date night restaurants. Do not order a super girlfriend dish on the first date. We're talking second or third. This, excellent. Three and a half out of five plus. This is the vegan bruschetta. This is very different from the last time that we had bruschetta with Chef Dana which we love and appreciate. Chef Dana is now at Flying Fish. I don't want to... Um... Cheers. Yeah, that bite was juicy, but delicious. The sun-dried tomatoes oh, yeah, yeah. just popped. The ciabatta is like crispy. 
Everything about this is amazing. It's a it's a glow up from the last time that we had this bruschetta. I'm into it. It's a four and a half and a five bruschettas. Definitely better than anything we've ever had at the Italy Pavilion at Epcot. It slaps. So is this bruschetta, or is it just an Italian built for salsa? Or did I just commit some sort of blasphemy you couldn't cancel me for? If I wouldn't cancel for anything, you'd probably do that. Mm. One thing about bruschetta, it's bouncing that citrus and everything else. A little hints of balsamic. And just sort of works. It's like refreshing, but in a food sort of way, instead of like a beverage. Perfect, like sort of like wedding appetite. Four to five plus. Solid appetite. For this beautiful vegan margarita pizza. I want you guys to know that Bear and I have been to Trattoria El Forno at least four times for dinner and have asked for a vegan mar margarita pizza and have been shot down because it's 100% up to the server's discretion. A majority of the time they're gonna say no. So don't expect this when you come here. But you can get this at Abracadabra after five <laughs> and you can ask around when you come to the boardwalk but getting it at Trattoria is a rarity and it took us five years of being on YouTube before we were actually able to do this so I'm really excited that we're able to get this but also I just want to warn you guys not to expect this when you get here this beautiful margarita pizza. I think the tomatoes on it and everything looks better than what you get at Vietnapoli. Better than or equal to ever Kadabar's pizza. Oh yeah. This is for the bread lovers. If you love bread, and you want pizza? And you're a vegan? This is this is your jam. I'm a bread lover. So I'm giving this a 4.95 out of 5 pizzas. It only gets marks down because the, the cheese is sticking to my teeth and I don't like that. But it's really good. I, I want a balsamic drizzle on it, but it's fine. I'll take the rest of it home and I'll put my own balsamic drizzle and I'll heat it. It'll be amazing. If you feed a princess pizza, she'll be happy for a day. Let her get a vegan margarita pizza, take it home, and do whatever she wants to it, and she will love you for the rest of your life. At least the next two days while that pizza lasts in the fridge. Even for a vegan pizza, it's got a nice little pull to it. Not a, not a, not a mozzarella, like natural pull, but it's got a good pull to it. it smells fresh, you have the basil, you have the tomato. A bite. Mm. It is very cheesy. And now you do get that hint of like artificial plant-based flavor in the cheese, but it's super cheesy. Usually you get vegan pizzas on property and it's like barely any cheese you get any at all. What well, could even have the vegan cheese? But a super cheesy, super soft, excellent dough, everything else. Mm. That is in fact a treat. Well seasoned, the hints of pepper and the herbs, everything on top. That is if you do vegan margarita pizza. In a more comfortable setting than Abra Dad Bar. Don't get me wrong, Abra Dad Bar is a fun bar to go to. But I hate eating there. Tables are too small, especially if you're sharing food amongst the group. Nice table, trattoria, perfect. Four out of five bucks. So I was going back through all our old, old videos here and realizing that I've ordered a lot of things. I've ordered pasta, I've ordered pizza, I've even ordered steak, which is a rarity for me because I don't eat that much steak. But I've never ordered fish. And swordfish. So, I got their swordfish, uh, which comes with a nice green pesto on top. You have uh, zucchini, peppers, uh, and cantinelli beans. 
like a tomato based sauce at the bottom, and this swordfish looks delectable. Plating's a bit odd, but the fish looks delectable. So I'm sure there'll be somebody on Reddit somewhere and told me this is the worst plate I've ever seen, and somebody should lose their job. Some of you people need to go touch the grass. It's just food. I'm gonna eat it anyway. So, we need a little sauce in there. We're gonna swordfish up here. We're gonna do an all in bite first. Just gonna go for broke right up front. Looking great. Veggies are kind of plain. Like, highly sauteed. Crisper than I was expecting with a swordfish. Swordfish is amazing. Nice and flaky, with that nice, like, mild flavor to it. It takes up the sauce on top beautifully. It's a good fish. Always worry whether you're gonna dry it out or it's gonna be a sloppy mess, but this is like the perfect fish consistency. With a good amount of flavor. Well, it's a nice light dish, but if you don't want anything too heavy, maybe you're gonna eat, go to Epcot, watch Harmonies before it goes. Yes, I'm gonna miss Harmonies and Water Tacos. Don't judge me. This, this I like. I'm gonna give this four and a half out of five stars. If you haven't had swordfish before, now it's time to try it. So, all done with Trattori Alferno. It was delish. I am glad that even though we couldn't get the pretzel or the garlic knots, I got a pizza and I've been trying to get a pizza the last four or five times we came here. So that's a success for me. At least she got something that she wanted. Trattori continues to be consistent with the chef team and the service. It's always been great here. Definitely sure. want to come back. The swordfish is great. I'm glad that this place continues to just be what it is. Consistent. Consistently good. Yeah, consistent. No, no, no dips, no roller coasters. Just good. Consistently good. I don't know what you guys think. Where does Trattoria rank on your list of like boardwalk little restaurants? You're going here, you're going to Big River, you're going across the pond to like Alien Compass. I need to know. Let us know in the comments below. Of course, if there's anywhere else you'd like to see us go, that's always a new place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see comment. you soon. Otherwise, Bear will just yeet himself into whatever this is. You heard the girl. <laughs>